Hey guys, it's Andy again, back with another video for Pokemon Sword. So if you're new to my channel, I do gameplay tutorials and also product reviews. If you like what you see, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. So these are the current Pokemon that I currently have, and their levels. So Chutel, Yamper, Nicktail, Sir, Purloin, and Rookatee. I'm pretty sure I butchered all their names, but it's okay. So after a while, I'll get better at pronouncing their name, so don't worry about it. So all the Pokemon that I currently have, you can find them in those two patches of grass. So all you have to do is look around and just keep catching. So this is the first battle that I'm going to end up having on this route. It's against this youngster. I kind of felt like I was going to end up fighting him because he was just standing around on the road. So as you can see by the screen, my Pokemon are level 13 and his is at level 6. So of course I was going to end up beating him easily. Also another great thing about this game is the attacks actually have either a double effective, effective or it doesn't even say anything. So you can know which actual moveset to actually use against each Pokemon. And like that, I won 360 bucks off of him. So after you defeat an NPC, you always want to talk to them because sometimes they give you a little tip or kind of give you a direction where to go. So it's always good. Also don't forget to read these little bulletin boards because they could give you tips of how to actually play the game. Like right now that is explaining how you're able to share experience points when you battle. So all your Pokemon benefit from a single battle or when you're catching a Pokemon. So when you're walking around new areas, always pick up these little Pokeballs because they actually carry items. Kind of like that Pokeball that you end up seeing. I got three free items. Easily. So it's my second fight and it's against Lauren. So same thing like before. My Pokemon is at level 13. Hers is at level 6. So we both have the same Pokemon and the same typing. So you never want to use the same move as the same type because you're not going to do as much damage. And like that, I won the battle. So now that we defeated Lauren, basically we won 504 bucks. So this is pretty amazing, my starter Pokemon is actually evolving. Dope. My Pokemon evolved into Raboot. He looks like he's wearing a sweater. So this is the Pokemon entry for Raboot. So now that we defeated Lauren, let's move on to the next trainer. But I kind of forgot to actually speak to her so I can get a tip. So basically she's explaining that everything has a type advantage and disadvantage. Fire against grass, grass against water, and water against fire. So now we're up against the third trainer on this road, Benjamin. So since Benjamin threw out Blitbug, I decided to actually bring out my new Pokemon, or you could say my evolved Pokemon. So Blipbug used Struggle Bug, it basically lowers down my special attack. So now it's my turn. So I looked at my attacks and Ember said it's super effective. So I used that and basically I one shot at him. So the great thing about Benjamin is he had a second Pokemon so I decided to keep my original one. So he sent out Nicket. So like before, I looked at my attacks and it said double kick is super effective. So I used that attack. So basically I gave it a foot in the face and boom, one shot KO. 
So I do like this feature that all the Pokemon get a benefit from the experience points, so you're able to level up multiple at the same time. So we were able to defeat Benjamin and won 420 bucks. So the cool thing is I saw this lake and guess what? I saw a Gyarados in it. Dope. I also found out that you're actually able to sit on benches. So since I seen these bubbles, I thought I was able to actually fish for a Pokemon. So I went inside my bag and I checked if I could use my fishing rod. But it didn't let me actually use it from the bag. So next I decided to actually click the bubbles and this prompt popped up. So it's basically saying whenever you see like a little shadowly form, just click it and there should be a Pokemon beneath it. And once it vibrates on your controller, just click the A and you should be able to reel it in. So the only thing is you'll be able to mess up two ways. Either you click too fast or you're too slow. And as you can see, I was way too fast when I clicked the A button. So I have to try it again. So the best method to do this is just to walk around and just give it some time for the Pokemon to pop up again. So now that I was able to see the shadowy form, let's try this again. Perfect. I got the Pokemon. So I'm pretty happy it was a Magikarp because Magikarp actually evolves into Gyarados, a really strong Pokemon. So I'm just going to end up trying to catch the Pokemon because at the same time since my Pokemon are at a higher level, I could easily one shot them. So I'm just going to throw a Pokeball and see what happens. And that's great. I was able to actually catch Magikarp with one throw. Nice. So now I'm just going to end up adding Magikarp to my party. That way I could evolve him into Gyarados. And I'm just going to end up taking out Purloin. So Magikarp can have space. So this is Professor Magnolia. She's basically the one that did the research for the Dynamax and also the grandmother of Sonia, the one that gave you the Pokédex. So the great thing about her, she actually convinced Leon so he could endorse me and Hop so we could end up doing the Pokémon Gym Challenge. So basically the statement, how are you going to make the region strong? by making strong trainers. Honestly, I kind of figured it was going to come down to a Pokemon battle. So, now it's time to show my skills. So before I end up battling Hop, one tip I do have Whenever you're in a new area, always look around because you could always end up finding new items. And like that, I was able to find TM57, Payback. So TMs are a way so you could be able to teach a Pokemon a new move. Although not every single Pokemon are able to learn the move, but it's another way so you could teach them. So since we were able to find a TM, let's look around the garden and we found a Great Ball. And now we found a bottle of fresh water. So it's always best to look around because you never know what you could find. So now it's time to have the battle with Hop. Let's see who could win. So now that Magnolia and Leon are ready, now this battle could begin. So honestly I really hope I don't beat him so bad, but what can you do?
So now to start off this battle, he's gonna end up using Wuldu. And I'll use Chu Tao. So as you can tell by now, this is gonna be a sweep. Level 13 against a level 6, Cakewalk. So the great thing about using Bite, you could actually make the Pokemon flinch. That prevents them from attacking and you could attack them again and basically knock them out. So the great thing is when your Pokemon is at a low level, they're able to level up quickly and my Magic Heart went to level 5. So since he was switching out his Pokemon, I decided to do the same. That way it could be starter against starter. And I was lucky it happened. So it's my level 16 against his level 8 starter. And since Ember is super effective against Grokey, time to use it and one shot KO. And like he mentioned, basically when you already know your type is strong against another, it's easier to win. Well, it was close. My magic arc could have gone to level 6 already. So now that Hop is bringing out his last Pokemon, I'll just keep mine the same and just knock him out with one hit. Honestly, I kind of feel bad doing this to him, but I gotta win. And like that, this battle's over. Damn, I was a little bit off from leveling up my Magikarp again. So this is the part I kind of got excited for. I'm finally going to get my endorsement. So I'm guessing you need an endorsement so you could be able to battle in gyms. It's a little bit different in this game. So honestly, I do love great competition, especially when somebody's pumped up to be the champion too. Though, I guess that's a falling star. So the items that he picked up are wishing stars. I wonder what they're actually used for. Well, I guess with one of these, my dreams can come true. But I guess they're used for Dynamaxing. So this is the moment where Magnolia gives us the Dynamax bands. So basically the wishing star that hop in the finding on the ground is on the Dynamax band. It's the way so you could be able to Dynamax your Pokemon. So now Hopping's getting a little bit overexcited, but at the same time Magnolia is explaining that there are certain conditions and things that you need to do so you could be able to Dynamax your Pokemon. So pretty much saying that not all Pokemon could do it, but if they meet the certain requirements. So once you get to this point, click the Y button, and this gives a new feature for the game. So Ycom is a way so you could interact with people locally or via the internet. So on the screen it's just showing that when you're out with your game, you're able to interact with people if they have the game too. So like it shows in the screen, that's the way you're able to connect locally and also via the internet. So you're able to trade Pokemon, also battle Pokemon, and also interact in raids together. 
Honestly, I'm not 100% sure on how the, all these features work. So I just have to do some more digging and looking into information. So the good thing is you're able to actually choose a profile picture. So I'm gonna end up choosing the gym icon, but these are all the icons that you're able to choose. So I decided on the dragon gym icon because I love dragon types. So once I end up finding out more information about this feature, I'll do another video about it. So now that we're pretty much finished with the video, now let's save the game. And with that, that ends this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below if you like what you see.